These are tough times for Bordeaux, who have only won one of their last nine outings in Ligue 1 Uber Eats, and that was against rock-bottom Dijon. They were looking to get back on track at home to Strasbourg, who suffered successive losses to European hopefuls Rennes and Lens before the international break. The visitors welcoming back their goalkeeper, Matt Sells, making his first outing in over a year, exactly 400 days. There were only three points separating the two sides at kickoff, with Bordeaux 13th and Strasbourg in 15th. And it was set to be a spectacular first half here in Bordeaux. Strasbourg needing just six minutes to take the lead. Thierry Lurie's men with Lamine Kone heading in from this corner. The delivery from Dimitri Lienar, perfect. And Kone has now scored at least one goal in each of his three seasons with Strasbourg. Putting his side ahead on six minutes. And on 21 minutes, it was 2-0. Habib Diallo getting his first goal since the 9th of January, his 8th of the campaign, after that lovely ball in from Frederick Gilbert. Well, still the men in white shirts continue to pour forward and they were awarded a penalty on the half hour. Adrian Thomasson brought down by Edson Mexer inside the area. And Ludovic Ajork making absolutely no mistake from the spots, low and into the corner. His 12th of the campaign. Strasbourg's leading goal scorer, and 3-0 on the half hour. Well, the Bordeaux fight back began six minutes later. Paul Pace getting a goal on his 200th outing in the French top flight after being teed up by Laurent Koscielny. Hatem Benafa with the corner as he made his first start for the team in six weeks. And then there was a penalty at the other end as well. Koscielny going down under pressure from Ibrahima Sissoko and Yui Jo Hwang getting into double figures for the season, the South Korean nicely put away five goals in the first half Bordeaux have lost their last three home games against Strasbourg in Ligue 1 Uber Eats and they were facing the prospect of making it four in a row here unless they could fight their way back into the game Jean-Louis Gasso looking a little bit unimpressed on the sidelines Yassine Adli should perhaps have done better here after a neat one-two with Huang. Little back heel, but Adley couldn't quite find the target. Strasbourg then coming forward with jean ric Bellegarde, who decided to go it alone. Took a bit of a deflection off Koscielny. But that was how it finished. No goals in the second half, so 3-2 the final score. Strasbourg holding on for three important points and they even go ahead of Bordeaux in the table. They're now 13th and 14th respectively.